Welcome back. We are set and ready to go for the first match of the 2010 season on the broadcast. We have Status Quo, our eighth seed, taking on Heaven and Earth, our ninth seed. And Scott, we've got to take a look at our red lineup here. Status Quo, they're wearing yellow tonight, and they have the fans in the crowd. That, of course, is going to be Flame Sword, Ace, Enable, and Assault. I read it from right to left. You can do the same. Assault's on the left, Enable's in the red hair. Look out for those two. They're the new additions, and these guys were looking incredible at the land. I mean, 44 and 11, and, and one day's work says they were going to be an incredible. But, you know, on the blue side, Chris, you have heaven and earth. This is the veteran team that I'm looking to see. I want to see the rebirth of Karma here. You know who these guys are. You have Nated, Karma, uh, Killer Drew. He, got, he changed his hair. It's different for me. And then Clutch. Yeah, Killer Drew shaving his head. It looks like status quo is all set, ready to go. And over on the other side, the blue team, Nated, Clutch, the new additions, of course. You have Karma and Killer Drew, who teamed for most of the season last year. Talking to Killer Drew in the Dr. Pepper Lounge earlier, he said, we are ready to go. We're all set up. And then he backsmacked Shibby and made me giggle. <laughs> so he is a humorous fellow, and he's also got a nasty BR. I will be looking out for him in this matchup, guys. And these guys are all set and ready to go. So let's get right into the games. And we're going to kick this one off with map number one, Onslaught. Taking a look at Onslaught, guys. Of course, there's no power weapons. It's all about the battle rifle. And, of course, it's the first team to score five flags on this map. Scott, what are going to be the keys in this matchup? The keys in this are always the same. You stay up top, and you don't overextend yourself for a flag. You just wait for your teammates to have perfect position, and then you pull the flag. If you overextend, it's a fast game type. You can lose it very easily. All right, so here we go. We are getting this game started. Right now, it looks like we have Heaven and Earth trying to push the top. Nated already aggressively pushing into the base. And there he's got Flame Sword coming off the spawn there over at the B dump, but guys, we're just going to lay out for a little bit to start this game off. We have Heaven and Earth facing off against Status Quo. It's a best of five series. The first team to win three games will advance to most likely play Triggers Down tomorrow. It's going to be a huge one. Nated, we're going to stay on him for a little bit, guys. He was the stride player of the year. When it comes down to slaying, there's no one that does it better than Nated, in my opinion. We're going to stay on his screen. And right now we have the flag in the hands of Nated coming out of the Astro. Listen in for you guys. Check them out. Looks like Heaven Earth going to be the first team to put this flag in. No one from status quo in position to stop. And not only did they get the flag cap, Scott, they're also keeping control because Karma just picked up a clutch double. Now the interesting thing about this team, they stayed on the bottom. Clutch, oh, on Believe the Hype, always stayed on the bottom. And I guess he took it team, his own playing style, and adapted it to his whole team. You watch Karma go in from the other side as the... Uh, status quo squad was distracted and he took advantage of it and now you see they have two caps and they still are in position to have control you see clutch pushing in on the base still this team is playing well that's right as we are watching nated karma ran the flag down bottom b put it in so now heaven and earth just after three minutes looking like they have nothing to fear against the status quo squad they're in complete control up 2-0 already 
and what you really see from this Heaven and Earth squad early is the aggression. You've seen status quo put three down, but they weren't able to get in position to move the flag. That's not the problem on the Heaven and Earth side. They stay aggressive all the time, and that results in flags. And Nated somehow staying alive way too long there for status quo. Killer Drew is the last member alive, so we're switching over to Ace from SQ. And Todd, when we, or <laughs> Scott, when we, were, when we were watching the status quo montage together, Ace had probably about 70% of the, of the clips that were in that. Talk to me about this player. Well, you know, Chris, he's a very under-the-radar player because he's shadowed by his brother. And, I mean, you can't really blame the crowd for doing that because his brother's Elamite War. He was on straight rip, and he's a national champion. But he's a very fundamentally sound player. He has the ability to play any play style. You never see him just always go for the sniper, always go for the objective. He's always that player who kind of fills in. And by doing that, he doesn't get a lot of spotlight. But when you put the weapons in his hands, he's going to make plays. Right there, if you notice what he did, he didn't chase after Nated. He put two shots in Nated, put two shots in Karma. That makes... Both those players weak, and they can't get an angle on the flag. And he shut down the entire B side of the map by himself, getting a little bit of help from his teammate. Meanwhile, Enable is able to put in that flag. It's already tied up two to two. This one's a fast one. So Ace continuing to try and spawn camp here. He's finally going to be taken down. We're going to jump on board with Assault. He is inside of the base. He was actually just taken down. And we're going to actually stay on board with this guy for a little bit because Scott... I know nothing about him. Do you? Uh, from watching the LAN network a little bit, I can tell you one thing. He goes positive versus top eight teams. All That's right. about it. I'm eager to see how his play style is. And we are going to check him out. Assault's first time on the main stage looking to perform. He has Killer Drew down to no shield, sitting in the maze. He has fire coming from all directions, but it seems that he's able to pick up one kill before being taken down. The SQ flag is still out. Enable the only player alive to defend it, and Nated is going to put that flag in as Heaven and Earth come back on top. They're now leading 3-2. to two. And we're going to jump on board with Karma. He's trying to fight out of his Ooh. base. Or he's fighting into the <laughs> SQ base, and he just four-shotted to get there. Now, if you want to know the route Karma just took to get this flag, he went up the opposite side of his teammates were pushing, and he sneaks into the base, doesn't jump on the box, doesn't spawn kill, just pulls the flag, and that's how he gets this cap. And there we go. Heaven and Earth is up 4-2. to two. Wow. And, and, you know, a lot of people don't put too much emphasis on the first series, but when I talked to Clutch, he told me this is the most important series. If we win this series, I have the confidence that we could beat Triggers down. It was the same situation that I had with Believe the Hype in Orlando. Now, not to get ahead of myself, but the one thing we realized from last year, which we should have taken into consideration in the pregame show, is that you can't base everything off of land scores. What we do, we gave status quo too much credit because the land scores again, just like we did last opener, and now they may not perform. I'm not saying they already lost this, but based on this game, I would say they aren't as prepared as everyone made them out. To say. Yeah, status quo, we've, we've noticed that. They have never come out as good as we have wanted them to. They never came out with the buzz that they, you know, they never followed their buzz, and that's what you really lose with status quo. Heaven and Earth, they're producing right now. And there we have the score, four to three. Nated trying to keep Enable out of his base. All of SQ is trying to push in there, guys. And now it looks like Heaven and Earth is coming back for a counter cap. And, and you know, we talk a lot about status quo's land. Nobody talked about Heaven and Earth's land. They played Active Rush, a pretty good team. Beat them pretty handily, 77 to 23. Talked to Clutch about that too. He told me, yeah, it was 6-5 early on. Oh, and look, we're about to end this game. Here we go, five to three. Heaven and Earth takes game one. So Heaven and Earth taking game one, getting fired up after that one. And now it's time to take a look at the stats. Killer Drew dropping plus eight. Karma right behind him with plus seven. Yeah, it's not the two guys they added to the team. <laughs> it's the original ones going off in that game. Enable putting up the plus three there for status quo. But Heaven and Earth overpowers them in game one, taking that one five to three. So here we go, game one is now done. The guys are getting geared up and set for the second game. You know, game two and game five of the series are always Team Slayer. We're gonna be going into Team Slayer on Narrows coming up next. And Scott, I really need to know, what is SQ gonna need to do differently in this game 
to tie up the score one to one. Well, they're going to have to they're going to have to utilize when they have three down more often. They rare, rarely 